Hi Sayers! Welcome back to my channel. First of all, I would like to say thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to smile for smiling is more contagious than any virus that we have around. Another thing, be thankful for what we have right now. For what I say, every day is a blessing. Yes! And for today's video, I'm so excited because this will be another first on my channel. Today, we're going to have reaction slash review video of K-Drama. Many of us got fascinated watching K-drama before, but more so when the pandemic happened, right? So, for our first ever review video, we're going to have my most recent watched, or most recently watched K-drama series, and that is Dr. Prisoner. If you want to know more about Dr. Prisoner, just continue watching this video. Let's get it on! There you go, Sayers! Before anything else, don't forget to like this video. Leave a comment down below for your comments, suggestions for my next video to review or react on. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll get updated to my future uploads. Here you go. First of all, I would like to inform you of what Dr. Prisoner is for those who haven't watched it yet. Spoiler alert because I will be able to touch some of the sensitive scenes from the series. But, you know, I will be leaving more or most of the exciting scenes for you to watch and discover. Now, Dr. Prisoner is a 2019 South Korean television series starring Nam Kong Min, Kwon Nara, and Kim Byung Chul. It aired on KBS. So KBS, you know, when I was um, watching KBS series, I got to differentiate it from TVN. TVN usually has 16 episodes. But here, I saw their series ha usually have 32 episodes. And its literary genre is medical drama. Okay. That's it. Original release, March 20 to May 15, 2019. So, it's almost two years now. Okay, so that is the introduction for Dr. Prisoner. So let's talk about the concept of the show. Huh? So based on its genre, which is medical drama, you know, I'm really um, astonished, amazed on how Korean series or Korean drama is really, um, what they call this, consistent when it comes to its genre. For example, if it's deemed or if it's identified as a medical drama, they will really stick to it and you can you can easily say, you can safely say that the series was really a result of hard work and research because the terms uh, the terms and the terminologies, the way actors act the way actors portray their roles are really based on what this literary genre or this particular drama is. So that's one good thing there. Consistency with, when it comes to, their, to, to its concept. Then, if I'm going to give stars to the concept particularly, which is 10, the high, is the highest, and one is the lowest, I'm going to give it 8. Because, as I said, it's very consistent. Most of their K-drama, or most of their series, consistency is really um, 
evident. Now, how about the setting? Dr. Prisoner, as the title implies, most of the scenes happened inside a prison or a hospital. Okay, because the story itself is about um, a doctor who's trying to have a revenge against those people who um, maligned him, who tried to destroy his career and even his family. So that's where he he thought he would be able to get his revenge from the prison prison and the hospital. Now, um, one thing is very much evident also is the setting that it really adds up to the feels that this particular drama is giving to the audience. Now, how about the plot or the, the story itself? You know, this is what I like in Dr. Prisoner or in K-drama in general. The threading of the stories of each character is very much solid. When I say solid, it's like from the first part until the last part, you will not see any inconsistencies. If there will be just minimal inconsistencies, and which will make that will make you even more uh, what they call this, even more hooked to finish the K drama. By the way. I have this tendency when watching a particular K-drama or, or series that in just the first episode that I that I am starting to lose my interest, the tendency there is I would not have finished watching it. So when my attention um, was caught just by watching the first episode, so the tendency there is I would have watched all the episodes okay now that is for the plot now if I'm going to give stars to the plot of Dr. Prisoner I would just give it seven why because you know if you're going to watch this series you would be really some somehow confused because eh, one after the other twist or plot twist are really happening it's just like it's just like when a character is like being triumphant in that particular situation later on there will be an instance or there will be a there will be a situation wherein he's going to fail again and it's really making me uh crazy <laughs> You know, watching this series. Maybe this is one. That's one also of the the reasons why I continue watching this. And if that is intentionally um, done or used as uh, what they call this as a way to draw more viewers, then the director succeeded. <laughs> okay, now let's have the characters. Characters. So, for your information, the characters there are Dr. Naiji, the main character, Dr. San So Gum, Director Lee J. Hoon, then Lee J. Wan, his uh, younger brother, then Director Sun Min Sik, Lee J. In. Then the justice prosecutor, if I'm not mistaken, Jung Wee Sik, and director Mo Yira, and so on and so forth. They are, uh, not, let's mention also Han Bit. They are some of the characters here. Now, I'm really so fascinated when it comes to the portrayal and acting skills of Korean. Um, actors and actresses because it's just like they really studied their roles 
And upon checking, upon researching, most of their actors and actresses really studied um, professionally what they're doing now. Hmm? And they were even housed for workshops or for trainings. And that made me even um, more amazed and amused how their craft was maintained and was even honed as years went by, right? Now, for the characters, Dr. Naiji there really gave justice to his portrayal of the character of the doctor who's trying to have revenge of what happened to him. Um, his nuances, his gestures, not to mention also the greatness of director Soon, if I'm not mistaken, that's how you pronounce it. Because there were times that I also got mad or angry how he portrayed his role and it was just like so fitting to his personality okay now if i'm going to give stars to the characters of dr prisoner i'm going to give them nine so there will be a room for improvement but they're really so so adorable and they're so good just like what i said earlier conflicts are everywhere in every episode conflicts are like more than two three or four so if i'm going to talk about the general conflict in the story it's really about the desire It's really about the desire of Dr. Nayeji to revenge, right? To successfully redeem himself, whatever it takes. Because that particular situation or that um, past experience that he encountered cost his mother's life almost cost his own life, right? Oh, I remember there was this scene, if I'm not mistaken, in episode one, that an accident took place and it involved a couple, a couple who's very dear to Dr. Naiji. The girl there is pregnant and she is handicapped. It's, it was so saddening that it happened because they're about to go to the hospital to check or to talk to Dr. Naiji. But they were caught in trouble when they, in, when they came across the character of wait let me have that the name of Lee J Won the younger brother of Dr. Lee J Hoon and that made the story even more interesting but that one is so saddening huh? that's it that could be one of, of the biggest conflicts there and another is when Dr. Naiji's license was revoked because of, of the dirty tricks of other people. Now, trivia for Filipino viewers of K-dramas there. In this series, if I'm not mistaken, in episode 6, there was also a Filipino character. I was so shocked when I was watching this episode, I heard a Filipino line. 
I even told this one to my sister because I was really surprised. And, you know, um, hearing that one, it became more personal to me. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, the line there is, Kamusta? Kamusta? Which means, how are you? I just wanted to mention that. Now, if I'm going to give stars to the conflict of the story, I would have given it 7 as well. Just like what I gave to the plot. Okay. Now. I would like to mention what I like about K-drama. You know, one of the things that I really like about K-drama is that even if it involves love story, it still has a lot of other things to offer other than that. That is what I want really in watching K-drama. Because, let's admit it, in the Philippines, when it's about love stories, usually the focus is on the love story, right? But in K-drama, the focus, the consistency is there, really, on the literary genre itself, right? For example, in this particular K-drama series, it's a medical drama, and it's really trivial, informative, because every jargon mentioned in the series the the explanation will be flashed on the screen so that in that way you will also be informed of what they are talking about because it's so hard to understand what they're talking about most especially if you are not part of that particular field right that's it now I'm done talking about most of the highlights of Dr. Prisoner. I hope that I wasn't able to divulge everything. Now, let's be honest here. In every series, we get to see the downside of it, right? Now, we'll be talking about also about the downside of this particular series. As a viewer, how... I see it and how I got it okay now KBS is the pro producer of this particular series this is what I noticed uh, mostly in K drama series long episodes and usually there are hidden scenes shown after each episode I think that is one of the, of the downsides because of its length, lengthy episodes, you would really have to a lot time. And the mere fact that you are drawn to that particular story, you would really want to watch more than one episode. But because of the lengthy episodes, you would be able to just watch at least one or two episodes. That is just for me. Now, usually, when you thought it's the end of that episode, it's not really the end. There is this um, extra seconds or minutes after that particular scene that the series would show parts you have to look forward to the next episode. So if you're not that familiar with the format of K-drama, you would have switched it off or switched the TV off or whatever gadgets or devices you're using there, right? And somehow, when you watch the next episode the next day, you will be having a question mark there. That is just how I get it, right? And another thing is, I don't know if this is um, one of the, of the downsides, but it's this one. 
that after every episode is that you'd crave for more. Maybe that is an advantage <laughs> because of of being drawn to the story, he would really want to have more episodes. And that is when you binge watching, right? Okay. Then, another thing that I noticed is that the sensitivity of most, if not all, the K-dramas when it comes to sensitive um, parts like, for example, love scenes, or showing some skin. I noticed this that they really do not focus on such. Huh? Not unlike other series that this part would really be prolonged. And I noticed that if the actors are really that good and the story is really that consistent, they would have been able to really draw the attention of of the viewers to that um, to that particular what we call that scene intimate scene without even showing too much skin right still classy right okay now if I'm going to give stars to Dr. Prisoner in general, I'm going to give it 8. Yes. But don't get me wrong, I really like this series. I even watched the last episode twice. And I don't want to divulge more than that. So it's for you to watch it. So there you go, Sayers. This has been my review or my reaction to... Dr. Prison. If you got more suggestions or recommendations for my next reaction video, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to get updated to my future uploads. That's it. This has been Simon for Simon Says PH. See you again on my next vlog. Bye-bye. Thank you.